What's up? How y'all doing? It's Good Friday. Are you feeling the Good Friday vibes? Are you feeling it? Because I'm feeling it. I am like the worst boss to myself ever because I'm working, but that's okay, fine. I was like, you know what? It's Good Friday. I got a few things to get done at the studio. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to go live. I'm going to chat with y'all. All good vibes. It's going to be amazing. Okay. You know what, y'all? Let's put on some music. All right. It's Friday. We having good vibes. We having good vibes. We having good vibes. We having good vibes. Hey. Okay, but really, we packing orders. Okay. Got my water. Got a large water from Chick Fil A today, and it's delicious. I should have got some lemon in here. What was I thinking? Okay, so I'm packing orders. Let me get my computer set up. If you guys see me looking downwards, it's because my um. If y'all make any comments, it's on this. I'm looking down to the comments. All right. So if you guys know, I had an amazing sale. Hold on. This music is reviving a little too well. There we go. And that's a good vibe. All right. Put the comments back up. All right. So the sale was what we did a sale Wednesday. Yeah. It's Friday. We gotta ship some orders. So y'all gonna pack some orders with me. Let's chit chat. I know it's good Friday. Um, most some people are off. Some people are working. Um, drop in the comments what you're doing on this good Friday. Um, I thought it's, since we're still celebrating um, the two year anniversary, I thought it'd be fun to kind of like chit chat about like how I started making earrings or whatever. Thought that would be like a little fun story to tell today. Um, that'll be super dope. Got my little wrapping paper. I wonder if I should do all the wrapping paper first. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna prepare all my wrapping paper first. Um, at least some of it. Um. Uh, let me share this video real quick too. If you're watching the video, make sure you share my channel. I just hit a thousand subs. Welcome to all my new subbies. Excited to have you. Excited to be here with you and create content for you and with you. Um, I'm about to share this video to my Facebook. Well, I was, but this thing is taking forever. It's like spinning, spinning, spinning. Hey, Luberta. About to share this video. Um, so today I thought I was going to talk about like how I started the earrings or whatever. Thought that would be a good conversation for us to have. As we're still celebrating, um, as we're still celebrating the two-year anniversary, um, I know, I know, I know, I know. I need to do more lives. I'm trying to get in the habit of just doing more relaxed lives. Nothing serious. Definitely not no live like Wednesday. <laughs> high pressure, high stress. 
Um, but I'm packing some orders, so we just we just chilling, we just vibing. We on a good Friday vibe today. Um, but I wanted to talk about um, how I started making earrings. I remember back in the day. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I used to buy a, an insane amount of earrings. I used to buy so many earrings because I love earrings. I thought like if I didn't. I felt like if I got dressed up or did my makeup, if I didn't have earrings on, it was like, I'm missing something. Like, right? I could look at my face and be like, I'm missing something. I need earrings, right? So I remember when I first moved to Charlotte, there was this store named Versona, which I haven't been to in a long time. Um, I went I went to this, I used to go to the store, it's called Versona, and even Charm, what is it, Charm? Charm? It was another sort of charm. I didn't go to the store as much, but I did go there sometimes too. Their accessories were a little bit, I don't know, kind of. It was neat how they had them in the store because everything was color-coded, very organized. So that was neat. But I just never found a lot of things that really stood out to me. But I used to love Versona. They um, had so many different accessories. Um, earrings, rings, necklaces, and I just used to like go in that store and it was like a field day, right? Um, and I also love to go to different boutiques that had um special different earrings or whatever. And so, but this is one thing that I had issue with is that I started, you know, you, you would wear danglies or whatever, but then I started wearing a lot of studs, started wearing a lot of studs because. I would find studs, I would wear them, but they were easy for me to wear because my ears were sensitive and I really could not take heavy earrings. And what would happen is if I tried to wear heavy earrings, which I did a lot, I would put them in, you know, say put them in for work. And then halfway through the day, I would like take them off, put them in my desk or put them in my purse. And then, you know, earrings, they don't belong roaming around in your purse. They would get broken. They would get lost. I would put them in my, I mean, I used to have like earrings all over my car. It was just a mess, right? And the reason for that is because they used to get too heavy. They would get uncomfortable and then I would just pull them off. And so I would be spending all this money on these earrings but I couldn't it wouldn't you know I couldn't wear them that long and then it just was a mess right so what I started doing was um I was like so then I started wearing studs so that's when I started wearing the studs and then it was a little bit better because I was like you know what I'm just gonna find some fancy studs they're not that heavy um and I could just rock with that right so I would buy all the studs then I came across somebody or somewhere online or something. I started people, I started seeing people uh, make or buy these button earrings. Um, and I don't know, I have some there. I have a video on my channel about button earrings, right? So then I saw, I saw somebody start, I saw them and I was like, oh gosh, the the designs and the things were endless right because you could basically once i learned how to make them or whatever i could basically buy all any type of fabric i can find and make a button earring out of it so it was like now i was wearing studs but oh i could wear any type of stud i wanted to right so that was awesome and then i started making those studs and wearing them and amber at this time, uh, we're kind of kind of new to meeting, but we've been knowing each other for a couple of years. Um, you guys know Amber. She had a team, and so she would be like, oh, my gosh, I love these button earrings. Can you make – she used to give her team members earrings when they joined her team and did special things. So she was like, oh, I would love to buy these for you. And Amber's always big on, like, buying from local businesses to, like, do any of her gifts, do any of her prizes. She always bought for like local boutiques, local businesses. And so when I started making those, she was like, I want to give those to my girl. So can you make me some? So I was like, yeah, for sure. So 
I made her some for those and then I made her some for herself. She started wearing those on videos and people would be like, oh, where'd you get those earrings? Where'd you get those earrings? She would say, oh, I, you know, then eventually she's, um, not eventually, but she said where she got them from. So then eventually people started, you know, reaching out for me to get earrings. And I was like, oh, okay, well, this is a thing. I didn't really mean it for everything. It was really in the beginning, it was like serving my purpose, right? So it wasn't really for... It was, it was, and that's what they say about like when you're starting a business, right? A lot of times you start a business. I didn't get on here to teach. We we supposed to be vibing, but here I am. My brain is getting to it, right? But this is what they say about when you start a business, though, right? And a lot of times you can tell like if you're on the right right path if you create a product or service from your own pain point, right? So whenever i started making earrings it was for my own pain point like i could not wear those heavy earrings but i wanted more then i started wearing studs but then i wanted more variety so then i started wearing then i started making the button earrings and then amber was like oh i want to give these button earrings to my team and i'm like okay then she started wearing them and then it just kind of snowballed from there right so it was like it was born from my own pain point and then it started to like serve others, right? And so um, that's how, you know, that's how the button thing started. And so after I was making the button earrings, I started, you know, going online, doing more search, like, oh, what other earrings can I make? And just looking for different styles and trying to expand on what I could make for myself. And then, um, and then I saw, these button earrings and i was like oh i'm gonna show you guys the orders too they are so cute everybody's orders look so cute this is lauren's oh can y'all see oh the lighting is not the lighting is not filling us today y'all can barely see it. let me put it down here over here y'all can't see these at all these are like little cute white studs y'all can't see them the light is the lighting is not our friend right now but y'all can see these oh let me see Y'all can't see that worth nothing. Anyhow, this is Lauren's order that I'm packing. Um, so then, get back to the story. So then, um, so then I started looking around for other things that I can make, right? And I was just like, oh, what other things, what other kind of earrings can I make? And right around this time, I had found this. I'm try I was trying to remember before I told this story today if I found them out, if I found these first on Pinterest or Instagram or something. And I want to say, I think I found them on Pinterest in the beginning, or I saw them on Pinterest, but I didn't quite know exactly what it was, how they were made and what they were made of or anything like that. So I was just like, hmm, okay. And then Amber comes along again. <laughs> um, boy, people will put people in your life that'll just like draw draw your gifts and your talents out of you won't they um so amber comes along again right around the time i had been finding this new this new thing i was like huh never heard of this and honestly i still hadn't really tried it i had started buying some of this stuff so if you if you guys are fellow polymer clay artists yourselves you know that whenever you start I always put a handwritten thank you note in my boxes. Sometimes I like will pack the whole box up and I'll forget and I'll slide it in the bag, but I try to every time. Um, but anyhow, but I was like, oh my goodness. Um, I was just looking or looking into this. I was starting to buy some of the clay, some of the tools, you know, if you're gonna start making clay earrings. You can start with the bare bones, but I had, you know, I'm an overachiever, so I have been starting to do research, figuring out clay. I had been, you know, getting some of the machine, or not the machine, some of the tools that are, you know, people are like, oh, you want to have this? Um, and so I, obviously I cannot write and talk at the same time. But I'm almost done. Um, so I was like, oh, 
So then, but I hadn't, I, I can't remember if I actually made my first pair. I'm not sure when she asked me, I feel like I didn't make my first pair yet. But when she told me about it, she had bought some earrings from Charleston at a boutique. And she was like, oh, you know, I was making the thing. She was like, can you make these um clay earrings? And I'm like, hmm, what do you know? I've just been doing a ton of research. I think that's what I told her. I was like, I've just been like learning all about this clay earrings. Like I... I think I totally can make them because I had I had been buying the stuff, been watching tons of videos on. Oh, I need to put this sticker here. I forgot I used to put that sticker here, and now I've changed it. Anyways, I um, I was like, oh, I think I can um, I can do this. I've been researching. I've been learning all the things about it. So, um. So yeah, I started playing with it. And so for the first, I think I, for six months, I know for the first ones, I made some, I burnt some. It was definitely not a huge learning curve. Like I think I always had like, I'm really creative and I'm really gifted when it comes to creating things and making things. But I think it was more so the medium. So like getting used to like the baking and not burning. Like I made some beautiful collections in the beginning. They just was burnt as a crisp. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't know how to like, you know, bake them properly, back, put the backs on properly. So it was definitely a learning curve. But um, and one box is done. Officially one box. Am I really going to get something that done while I'm talking to y'all? I don't know. I think I will, though. Um, she is done. Okay. So, oh, I got to get up. And she paid. Another thing is I got to remember who paid. Lenny, she's done. Okay. Um, hey. So sorry guys, I lost my train of thought. So I um I'm not trying to thought, I was just trying to package this thing up. Okay. So I um so I was like, you know, learning the doing the learning, getting all my little ducks in a row. And then I was like, okay, I'm ready to start creating some. So I remember the very first earrings I made, I sent them to my best friend, I sent some to her. Of course, Amber was here, um, and I just started to, like, make them, but I never sold them in the beginning. I just made them for the most part, and I and I wore them because I wanted to test them out. I wanted to see, and the wearability, that's what I fell in love with immediately because they were just so light. Um, you know, you can make huge statement earrings but they felt literally like you were wearing nothing i know it has been days where i've had on earrings and i've actually like did something really fast and they're so light i even forget i have them on so it's like wow that's literally what i've been wanting for forever and not losing so many earrings because i couldn't even um keep them in for so long because they were too heavy for me so, so yeah, so I was like, okay, once I got over, once I stopped burning them and I started testing them and wearing them and, you know, giving them out and all the things kind of really knowing if they were going to, if it was a viable solution. And then um, Amber started wearing them on her videos and people started asking, like, oh, where'd you get those earrings? I love your earrings, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, so then she obviously sent them to me. But I really built up this momentum, this crave, this, you know, if y'all watched Wednesday's video, that type of um that type of rave for my earrings just by wearing them on videos. So like Amber and I, we used to do an AML show every week. So we used to um, wear them there. And then we went to uh, the a &O show and then we were wearing them there. So people just, you know, just caught on to them and just wanted them. So now they're like a hot commodity. 
Um, I cannot write and talk to y'all, so it's gonna be a little bit of pauses. Okay. Because your girl came off the test in that way. Um, the whole multitask. That ain't what I will. Um, I was to Amber, we were working in the studio yesterday, and she was like trying to tell me something. I'm like, let me write this email first because I can't think about what you're saying and writing this email at the same time. It just, it just ain't happening for me. Just not happening. Yeah, so basically, that's how it kind of all began. Um, and then from there, just wearing them on videos, creating. And then what I noticed when I was making earrings, uh, whatever, was that, oh my goodness, um, I really enjoyed watching videos where people were making things. And it just didn't have to be earrings. Before I even started making earrings, I love to watch people process. I just love to watch the process of things being made, things being created. So I love those videos. And I'm like, and then I started thinking like, okay, if I love that type of videos, those type of videos. Why aren't I making those type of videos for my audience? You know? Um, and then that's when I started my the lives. I started doing lives. I was doing Watch Me Creates and Basically, I was, I would make a, I would make something on live every single, I think I used to do them on Thursdays, but I, I don't know what day I used to do them on. I feel like it was used to be Thursdays or something. Um, who does this belong to? Oh, crap. Oh, oh, I know this one. I'm going to do scared now. So these... Okay, to get one bigger box, guys, I'll be right back. And then I'm going to finish. Yes, it's crazy because every single time we had them on, we went wild for them. I know. They did. It was insane. All right. And to get a bigger box. Um, so yeah, every time insane, insane, insane. So that's why, and they honestly, the thing about it is they honestly just was watching me create. Like I would make videos, people would love it. I used to do a couple of sales um in a more in a group. Um and then if you have no idea, if you're this is really your first time getting to know me, um, Amber and I, who I'm also talking about, and um, we have another company, you know, the A O Show, what I was telling you about, and where we help women start YouTube channels and create content to attract their ideal clients and audience. So yeah, it just I was like, why aren't I doing this? For my people, you know, because I love watching this type of content. Why aren't I doing the same? So, yeah, then I started making videos, and here we are. Here we are. And so, I know a lot of um, you guys watch me because number one, you enjoy watching videos of people creating or maybe you want to or you create yourself um i really encourage you guys to make a make a channel and if you need help with that check out the a and o show um on youtube our website is createcontentacademy.com i just posted a video that's going live today um, you definitely want to check that video out. So if you are like, oh, I want to start a channel, check that video out. Oh, I forgot to show you this order. It's kind of, the lighting is so bad, but that's a preview of her order. So pretty. So bright. Mm. 
You're going to love that. Order Sorbina. And I packed Lenny order already. Y'all, I can't really multitask stuff. I'm just all over the place. This is good vibe. This is good vibes. Good Friday. So just bear with me. Just bear with me. Just change the tune. Y'all feeling the good vibes? Feeling the good vibes yet? Whew. Um, what y'all doing? What y'all doing? How? What are y'all doing for y'all Good Friday? Talk, talk to me. <clears throat> talk to me. If you're just joining this live, I just was talking about like the Olivia Hayward origin story, basically like how this all came to be. But if you guys have any questions for me, um, feel free to drop them in the chat. We're just doing a little packy pack pack. <laughs> I love one of the things I love about packing my orders is like handwritten notes, but they're very hard to do when you are trying to um, talk to talk at the same time. So I need a running note, guys. Bear with me. That's why I got the music on, y'all. So it's not silent when I got to write these notes. Because I cannot talk and write a note. Whew, so cute. So cute. And I'm going to put these in my bags. All right. Another one bites the dust. I gotta see who actually paid for their orders. I was here. Um, or so one thing to do. I don't know if you guys, if you're ever thinking about, I know I get have a lot of makers um, sometimes follow my channel, but if you're ever thinking about doing a live sale, it is very stressful, but it's very fun as well. And one of the things I do um, when is the end of the sale is I create products on the site, like custom products on the site so my people can easily check out. It's one way that your people can, um, it's one way that allows your people to be able to use um, Afterpay and Clarny and all those good things or whatever. Okay, Patricia, Patricia's checked it out. Um, so that's great. And then it keep, helps me keep track of it instead of like, and the invoices and all that kind of stuff. So it's a little bit easier to, to do. So if you ever wonder about that, I can always do a video about how I do my live sales, which they're not perfect, but they're a lot they're a lot better than they used to be. Um, every time I do one, I kind of come up with a different... Um, strategy or organization system and i believe this last one was a lot more organized um i think i want to get me these things though the thing um amber uh tell me what you think about this if you're still on here um because i always have a problem with my numbers i like name numbers the same um, when I'm doing it, I don't know how I do that. I just, I literally don't know how I do the numbers. I even did the numbers because previously the number, my earrings would be pre-numbered, but the recent one of my earrings weren't pre-numbered. So I was like, I'm going to just number them all back to back. I still mess up on the numbers. I don't know how, but I'm thinking about ordering. Like, um, I know I've seen these before. They're like little stickers and they're numbered and they go to like, 
whatever number. I think next time I have a lot uh, sale, I'm gonna number it. Just kind of like they used to do on um, LuLaRoe. I'm gonna give it a number right there when I show it. I'm gonna put a little sticker on it or something. <sighs> that will help me um, keep track of the numbers. Cause that's the one thing I always messed up. These ain't no numbers. Get on my nerves. <laughs> Mm. Um. yeah I think I want to get these little number stickers so then I can have them on here but then I'm it's not it's no way that I can double number it right because I only can give the numbers that's on a sticker because me like writing the numbers on the backs I always double number them or something I don't know or I always have like a I've always had like that issue happen at least once. And this time I was like, it's not going to happen this time. It still happened. So annoying. Yeah, I've seen them on Amazon before. And it's just basically like a roller. It's like, it's like, a, you know, roller stickers, but it's their numbers. So they're like number from like one to whatever, you know? And... I would just like, whenever I'm doing the last sale, I would be like, oh, here's another one. Here's another one. This is number, boom. And I would put the number right there on there. That could be a way that I could keep up with them. Because I always double number. I don't know how, but somehow, even if I do it right before the live, none of them had numbers, but I still numbered them multiple some type of way. Dumb. Okay. It was dumb. So, I thought it was good, but, you know, there's always room for, for improvement. And I always want to make it easy because I don't want to be doing no stuff that's going to be driving me insane. And that's on everything, so. For sure. All right. I got to write another note. Bye for a minute, y'all. Do some good vibes. Uh, this music is playing from StreamYard. StreamYard allows you to, um, it has like, it's the same music that we use on Courage Molina's um, church on Saturdays. Make sure y'all check that out tomorrow too. If you guys um, like a good word, um, Courage does church every Saturday on YouTube at 8, 8 o'clock. So check that out too. But um, um what was I gonna say? Oh, they give you like how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They give you like nine eight, sorry, eight tracks that you can choose from. Um, free music, uh copyright free music. So that's dope. Let's hear another track, you know. Let's hear this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, Katrina, how are you? Thank you. Um, uh, unfortunately, I do not take personal checks, um, but 
Uh, there's other options. Um, we could do PayPal. We can do Cash App, Venmo. We can do. Um, you can check out from our website. Those are the options I offer. Um, but Cash App, Venmo. I typically don't do those, but um, <laughs> that's an option as well. So cute. <laughs> Packaging your orders. Packaging y'all orders. Oh, whose order was this? Vanessa. Dina, not the name. Dina. <laughs> Ooh. This was Patricia. All right, how many more I got to go? This one is done. Patricia is done. This one needs to be paid. Um, y'all only got 24 hours to pay for your invoices. All right, let's see. Who else is this one here? I see. What's up? If you're just joining the live, we're packing. We got good, good Friday vibes happening. Um, I was telling my origin story earlier, like how I started making polymer clay earrings. So if you missed that, I would definitely go back and listen to it. It's an interesting little story. But we just vibing on a good Friday today. We just vibing, packing some orders. The sale was insane on Wednesday. Insane. Gives me a lot of high blood pressure. It seems like it. Because <laughs> y'all be like, check it again. Check it again. I'm like, my word, people. <laughs> um, I heard I was doing all this. <laughs> up and it's the pollen guys it's allergy season and i got the water to take my um allergy medicine today and i still did not take it i asked my husband oh give me a bottle of water so i can take this medicine and then as i was driving down the road i was like did i even take the medicine no so i'm drinking my water but well he didn't get me this water but I got another water. What is this for? Oh. Gotta make the card. What's up? It's Good Friday. Tell me what y'all doing today on this Good Friday. We having a fish fry later. It's going to be delicious. Um, And just FYI, I cannot talk and write this note. So give me one second. Um, all right. Oh, yes, plant flowers. That is such a satisfying thing. The only thing with planting flowers, I loved when I planted like flowers. I didn't do it all myself. I hired work, but I helped. Anyhow, I um, I love it. It looks so good when you're done. You're like, wow. But then it's like, ugh, we got to keep it together. That's the hard part. Water them. Hopefully, the cold don't freeze them. Yes, Katrina, I definitely got to um, take mine. I meant to take mine today, and I just 
completely forgot. I just completely forgot. Who was this for? Oh, I know. I know, I know, I know. I need to give me some more gold sharpies. Okay, I think I got this order is done. All right, Luberta is done. Uh, Katrina. Katrina, email me about your payment. Uh, email me and tell me what, and we can see how I can help you. Um, okay, so, you, so I'm still waiting on a few more. Checkouts. I did not send the invoices, some of the invoices to late last night. Um, so let's see. Lawrence is done. Cenos is done. Coffee is done. Kurt is done. Patricia is done. Lenny is done. What was Roberta's order at? Like, I'm not sure why I'm watching because I didn't win anything. I know. Okay, Katrina, that is that's good. Um, that's good. You can check out from your computer as well. I don't know if that helps. Um, with the link that I gave you in your email, if you have access to a computer, you can always check out on there as well. Um Carla, I know. Oh, it was you and another girl named Sandra. Like, y'all was trying to comment. Y'all like, get that bad. It's so sad. So sad. But it is what it is. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to have a release soon. It's going to be dope. First of all, the stuff that's coming, let me tell you, the stuff that is coming to my shop very soon is going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind. I need sound effects. It's going to be so good, okay? It's going to be so good. So don't you worry. Don't you worry, your pretty little head. You are going to absolutely love what's coming. So don't worry, don't you fret. I got purple coming from, for you, um, Carla. So don't worry, my darling. You got something coming. Something is coming that you're gonna love. Guys, if you ever, one of the things that I don't say very often, but if you ever re like a certain back, so I usually do the silicone backs, but I also have like metal backs too. And so I know I have one client, she's very, I don't know what she'd be doing, all types of oil. So the silicone backs slide. 
very easily on her earrings. So um, I told her I can always send her metal ones. So if you ever um, feel like you don't want the silicone ones, just in your notes on the website, let me know and I can include the metal ones for you. Or I can include um, these ones right here, which these ones, you know, I have a love hate and relation. They have like the plastic on them and the metal. Oh, okay, Katrina. Got it, got it, got it. All right, well, I will, um, just because you're having trouble, I will definitely hold your earrings until Monday. So if for some reason, so somehow you can get the payment worked out between now and Monday, I'll, you know, I'll extend the payment. Um, I extend your time because I usually, on the live sales, I usually only do 24 hour window before I put them back on the website. But I'll give you till Monday and see if you can get, you know, everything sorted out with your phone and not everything like that. So, yeah. So, yeah, get that figured out and then I'll, um, I'll hold them for you until Monday. Um, so, yeah, just request metal backs if you need to. If that's an option for you or if you want that option or if you like silicone backs that's what i mostly use sometimes i do do metal but mostly i use silicone backs yeah Change up the tune. Change it up. We on a good Friday vibe. We vibing on a good Friday. Guys, when I grew up, my um every Friday used to be good Friday because well, I wouldn't say not when I was small, small, but especially like when I got to high school or whatever, around high school or whatever, I think my dad started doing this. So every Friday he would do he would do a fish fry. So that was his like little tradition. I would come to his house, he got his fish fried up. He would go, you know, sometimes go fishing or sometimes go buy fish. And he would have different types. It wasn't always fried fish, but it was, you know, different variations of it. But Good Friday was always the fish fry. Uh, and we having a fish fry today. So that is fun. A good Friday. Mm. I'm almost done with my packing. So I was kind of thinking if I was going to, I kind of didn't know if I was going to, Um, I keep on forgetting shred. Guys, if you get your package and you didn't have shred, charge it to me trying to multi <laughs> Because I'm like, why is this package so empty? Oh, yeah. I forgot to add shred. Don't try to go live and pack orders, Olivia. Not the business. Okay. Let me get my life all the way together and pack these orders for real. Wow. Um, oh, I closed it up without my note. Okay. Okay. I can do that. I can definitely do that, Carla. Um, definitely. 
Yep. Thanks to your bestie. Um, I got plenty of them. I know I got some purple glitter. I got that one. What else I got? Um, I thought I had another one. Oh, your bestie. Um, she ain't sending that much purple glitter, did she? No. Nah. <laughs> we know she's a pink. She knows we know she's a part of the pink squad. Ooh, now your bestie sent me a lot of glitter. She only sent me one purple. This is kind of like lilac purple. Um, and I know I ain't buy myself no purple glitter. I thought for sure that Lenny sent me more than one, but she didn't. She, oh, she is heavily on the pink squad, ain't she now? But I got some. Oh, you know what? And I got another. I did have one purple glitter. I got this kind of purple glitter, too. I did this. One of my friends, um, I did her wedding, and that's why I got this purple glitter. This was this purple glitter is legit from. I've been married for eleven for twelve years. Coming this October, she got married. I think one year after me. So she's probably been married for like ten or eleven years. That's how long I had this glitter because it is still pretty full. I remember I did. I made her some glitter. Purple glitter heels, and I use this glitter. For, I probably had bought two because I'm pretty sure I did. I use more than this for those heels, but I probably bought two, and this is the one that one that got left over. Can you make the back shorter? Um, that is a great question. Great question, um, Carla. And the answer is yes. But let me see which one is the shortest one. I think Yeah, I'll probably have to use these little ones. They're a little bit shorter. Most of them are Most of them are around the same, but there are some that's a little bit shorter. Another thing I can do is like cut it down. I can always cut yours down a little bit too and um, file it down a little bit. So yeah, just um, um, whenever this is the purple I had, I might I'm gonna look for other purple. But tell me right, tell me Carla, which purple do you like? since you're here and we're talking about it uh, if I were to make a purple glitter which would you prefer not if I will I definitely will make it because <laughs> you and courage would be you know happy but she'd be telling me um nah, I need to make sure I have my purples right so I'm gonna get her to go purple glitter shopping with me but anyways, these are the two I currently have. This one, which it's hard for you to see right now. Um, let me change the camera real quick. Because this camera is in such a bright light. It's not, um, it ain't right. It ain't right. It ain't right. Let me see if I can change my camera real quick. Okay. This purple. And then this purple. There, this one is a little bit darker. They look kind of the same, but there, this one is darker. This is definitely more brighter. This say small or big. Which one you like better? Small or big? Or I'm I'm probably will end up getting more too. But if you have a preference right now, let me know. Small or big? <laughs> Look, guys, this is what happens when you come to the lives. You get some, um, <laughs> you get some special treatment. You get your back shorter. You get dips. You get, um, um, you can give me feedback for the next things I make. Um, okay.
everything's in here, yes. Okay. I'm not. There we go. Here we go. I know. Purple Squad is in full effect, ain't they? Full effect. Purple Squad go hard. Okay, got two more orders, and then we gonna be out of here. Yeah, so guys, I thought I was gonna, and I really need to. Ooh, I gotta finish making my video for Wednesday. And I'm like, in my mind, am I going to stay here longer? Which that's what I need to do. Or am I going to get off early for Good Friday? Huh. Who knows? Am I going to stay longer? Or am I going to clock out? After I pack these orders. Question of the day. It's Good Friday, y'all. But. I do want to be ahead. And spend. Amber is going on vacation next week. She won't be bossing me around so much. Should we have more time? No, I'm just kidding, guys. Just kidding. But, um, <clears throat> we always say that about each other. <laughs> Somebody's bossing somebody around. <laughs> well, really and truly, we boss ourselves around. Because today when I was leaving the house, I'm like, oh, crap. I'm like, what kind of boss am I making myself go to work on Good Friday? Like, wow. I'm the worst boss I could ever have. Okay. But it's fine. I'm going to be fine. Plus, I get to hang out with y'all. Get it done and be ahead. See, I'm telling y'all, she she bossed me around even on the live. It's good Friday though. I want to go to the store. I want to get some food. Might make me some um make me some um co not cocktails but some spritzers today. <sighs> well, you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm I am gonna do it. Most of it. A good part part of it is done, and I yeah I'm definitely thinking going to do it because I don't want to um I want to have a good weekend this weekend so even though I'm working today I definitely want to have a good weekend. The darker one, okay. Um, Carlos, got it. Note taken. Put you on my to do list. How long will it take? Um, um, that's a good question. I don't actually know because this is a new song. I know I'm not going to be able to get all of it. I don't think so. Um, let me see something. Now you got me wondering. Now you got me wondering. So I'm going to give y'all a spoiler alert. A spoiler, a teaser, but I'm going to be, for my next video, I'm pretty sure this is going to happen on my next video, I'm going to be making some custom mold and um, what is this? 
Um, so I already made the blanks that I'm going to be using and I'm going to be mixing up this mold stuff. I don't know how long it takes to sit. So I feel like either way I go, probably not going to be able to do all of it today, but I'll probably be able to do some. Um, I don't know how long it's take to set up. Oh. This is more, oh, 16 fast. Oh, uh, so, so, so. okay. That's how I know how long it takes. So let's see. 16 fast, one to one ratio. It takes, oh, 30 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes cure time. Okay, that's good. That's not bad. All right, I'll be right back, y'all. I'll be right back. Enjoy the good vibes. These are my blanks I've been working on for my next project. I'm gonna, y'all will see the video next week. But it's gonna be awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I'll definitely get done some of that today because it's only 30 minutes. For some reason, I thought it was a lot longer because there's, um, different kind. One kind takes four hours. One time kind takes six hours, and one takes thirty minutes. So, thirty minutes? We could do that. Um, who was this for? Oh yeah, got it. I need to order some more thank you cards. Apparently, I feel like I'm getting low. Y'all know I can't write and um, talk at the same time. <laughs> Plus, I can't y'all putting the camera on the road. I know, she is. That video is going to be so good, Carla. I cannot wait. Um, Amber, when are you decorating the um, camper? This weekend? She's going to decorate the camper. They're going on a trip. So fun. So fun. That camper life is a whole other lifestyle. That's insane. <clears throat> Oh, 
All right, one more to go. We got one more. You doing the cat mansion today? How? You got it already? Wow, Amber, she don't mess around. Wow, guys. If you want Amber right here, if she get a thought in her mind, she ain't wasting no time doing it. I'm telling you, I cannot even, I don't even know how to explain this to y'all. What? You doing the cat? Like, she literally had this thought when? Monday? Tuesday? I don't I don't know how she does it. I really don't know how she does this in life. Like, it's insane. I want to be her when she grow up. She was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do something. And then she was like, yeah, I'm doing it tomorrow. I'm like, how? How are you executing so fast? It's definitely a, a gift that she has. She said the building is here. Blow my mind every time. Literally, guys, I'm about to go back to this text message to tell me. So I can show y'all just how close, just how fast she said it. And she doing it. It wasn't that long ago. What is this cat video? Or did you show me? No, you showed me on your phone. But when was that? That was Thursday. Was that when we're going to um Sephora? It was not that long ago, guys. It was not that long ago. This was not that long ago. Oh. She showed me on, on her phone, so I was going to have receipts, but wow. That's quick. Quick turnaround. Very quick turnaround. She's like, I want this. Let's do it today. <laughs> Carla, they're going to have their own building outside. Boy, the lichens. I love the. They got the Lycans cats are the they got the life. Okay. Um Okay, I am done with the packing. So I need to get my bags. Put them in the bags and then we're gonna print some shipping labels. Shipping labels. Do some waiting. All the orders packed. All right, guys. Wow, that's insane. That's insane. Okay. This is why I don't have to drink. I don't drink um, a lot of water at work because it makes me go to the bathroom so bad. The water is delicious. Yeah, a whole mansion. She about to make for these cats. A whole mansion. Nuts. 
nuts, nuts, nuts. All right, guys. Well, we have officially completed most of our packing. We still need to bag them up, which I'm going to do, and print the ship the labels, and then I'm going to take them to the post office. So inside the post office. Okay. Um. So we're going to do that. And yeah, it was amazing hanging out with you guys for this Good Friday vibes. Um, yeah, I usually work in the studio on Fridays and it's usually like my day for Olivia Hayward. So, you know, keep a look out. We might do more Good Friday vibes, studio vlogs, I mean, studio lives. I think this might be a good fit for us. Tell me what you think in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, if you're looking for handmade, handcrafted, beautiful earrings, you can always shop the website, oliviahayward.com. And yeah. Like this video for sure. Yes, happy Easter to everyone. Oh yeah, guys, just so you know, I was born on Easter. My birthday was Monday, but I was actually born on Easter Sunday. So it's like my second, when Easter doesn't fall on my birthday, it actually, it still feels like my birth. <laughs> it's Easter always feels like my birthday, even though my birthday only falls on Easter every 10 years or so. <laughs> but it's always felt like my extra birthday because I was born on Easter Sunday, so. Yep. Easter Sunday is super special to me because that's the day I was born. So you're right, Katrina. Happy Easter. Happy Resurrection Day, whatever you call it. Um, yeah, this was a good time hanging out with you guys, packing some orders, chit-chatting, and just, you know, living our best life on this good Friday. But you're right, Carla. It is so nice out. It is hard for me to stay in here and record. I want to be like chilling, okay? Chilling today, but we're going to head. We're going to go ahead, Carla, push through. Get your video done. I'm going to push through, get my video done so we can enjoy the rest of the Easter weekend and whatever weekend it is to you, whatever, whatever. We're going to do that. And yeah, we're gonna, we'll be back next Wednesday for TGIW. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys.